Okay, the problem is that a car drives around a flat circular track, and the question is, how fast can that car go before it starts to skid? This is a car driving in a circle around a flat circular track, and the question is, how fast can the car go uh, before it starts to skid? This free body diagram is intended to illustrate the problem. There are only three forces at play here. Vertically, the forces are the normal force and gravity, represented in this equation, saying that the sum of the forces along the vertical axis on the car are the normal force and mass times gravity, mg, and those two forces sum to zero. Forces mass times acceleration in the vertical direction, the car is not accelerating, so force minus uh, mg is equal to zero, meaning that the normal force is equal to mg. Along the radial direction, uh, friction is the only force in play. This is static friction, not kinetic friction. The car has not started to skid yet. So um, the force of friction in play is static friction and not kinetic friction. Friction is equal to the coefficient of static friction times the normal force. And that is equal to the coefficient of static friction times mass times gravity. The normal force is mg. So Friction is equal to us mg. So the sum of the forces in the radial direction uh, is static friction only. And that's equal to mass times acceleration. And in the context of uniform circular motion, mass times acceleration is mass times velocity squared divided by radius. So the force of friction is mv squared over r. The force of friction is mu s mg, and that's equal to mv squared over r. The question is, what is the maximum speed that a car can go before starting to skid? So algebraically, the task is to isolate velocity and determine what its value is in terms of the other variables. So to simplify this expression, mass exists on both sides so it can be canceled out, leaving velocity squared over radius is equal to the coefficient of static friction times gravity. Multiply both sides of the expression times r to isolate v squared, and velocity squared is equal to the coefficient of static friction times gravity times radius, meaning that the velocity is equal to the square root of the coefficient of static friction times gravity times radius. Please take a closer look at this expression. The fastest a car can go around a flat circular track is equal to the square root of gravity times radius times static, the coefficient of static friction. This is a fairly simple question in mechanical physics, but I struggled with it a little bit at first. I thought it was interesting, which is why I made this video. Um, the square root of gravity times radius times some coefficient is frequently the, found to be the maximum velocity of a vehicle traveling in some kind of circle, whether it's on a flat circular track or a banked circular track or a cylindrical circular track or a vertical circular track. So the answer to this question is kind of interesting and it relates to similar problems in mechanical physics. I struggled with this problem a little bit when I first saw it, but I thought it was interesting, which is why I made this video and I hope it helps you. Uh, if you've got questions or comments, please post them to YouTube.